And happening now, Metro Police are on scene of a robbery investigation. This has been going on now for more than three hours this morning. Traffic is just now starting to reopen along Rainbow between Windmill and Robindale. Our Bianca Holman is there live with the latest details. Bianca. Yeah, hey Alex, it has been a busy morning out here, but you can see that the northbound traffic on Rainbow is open. The southbound traffic, it looks like it's going to open here in just a moment, but it was all because of a robbery incident at this Dairy Queen. You can still see an officer out here with flashing lights, and of course there has been a yellow tape that is starting to be taken down. Um, but details are somewhat limited right now, but here's what we know so far. We know that law enforcement used several different resources around 8.30 this morning uh, to take care of this incident. We saw a SWAT team. We even heard the flash bangs, two of them, which create a little bit of smoke there for a moment. And as you can imagine, because of the street closure, lots of businesses were impacted. There's several different businesses around here, so they were, um, you know, didn't have customers for a while. And then we also learned that the children's learning Learning Center, Learning Adventure Center, and Judith Steele Elementary School were on lockdown. A parent uh, who has children that attend those, that daycare and that elementary school showed us an email that they were received uh, from the uh, administration there about the lockdown, keeping kids safe that were in the area. And um, also, again, we details are limited, but we are about to hopefully receive an update on what actually happened um, at this Dairy Queen and how officers were able to handle this situation that really had this whole area shut down for a moment. Reporting live, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.